All right, let's talk about new proposed um, gun laws. Uh, a lot of things out there, a lot of things being said and uh, kind of making people nervous. I'm going to give you my opinion on it because over the years I've seen and heard this and even in the last few years when all this crap started, there were some calls and some bills out there that, you know, really did exist and people were watching them. They were out there getting voted on that were, you know, pretty restrictive, pretty scary. Okay. So let's just look at the big picture for a moment before I get into this. All right. We all know that there's a global war going on. And what they're trying to do is basically, my thought, is to install a global type of government and, and control. Okay, now this is an old idea. It's been around for over 100 years, and it's, you know, they tried starting it several times after World War One, after World War Two, you know, all of this. And then in the 90s, okay, um, it has to deal with governments, the world economy, money, everything, okay? We, we all know this, and I kind of don't want to go off on it, but that is the root source of all of this stuff, including, you know, the health issues, everything. All of this is connected. Okay. What we look at, because this is a gun channel, is a lot of channels cover all these different proposed laws. And in the past two years, okay, there has been a lot of really weird things going on. Okay. And a lot of these laws have come up. And it's much like, uh, I think it was last year, when Virginia was going to pass a whole series of gun laws. They, you know, they were going up for vote, and people pretty much for sure thought that this would, if any of these things got voted in, I guess the NRA was going to be evicted from the state of Virginia, they'd close gun ranges, they'd close gun shops, and probably have the heaviest restriction on firearms ownership in the country. Now, there were several channels... Okay, now this was in the news, this was a big deal. There were several channels covering this. Some of them pretty intensely where they're on computers and looking at the votes and going on for an hour about it. And, uh, you know, one by one telling you the bill, the law, what they're going to vote on, and explaining the, the consequences of it. And then, like a week later, before the vote came, it was the SHOT Show, and all these channels, because they're mostly people who are dealing, they went to this and then started covering that, and nobody ever mentioned what the hell happened, how the vote went. And I believe after I, you know, I don't have the time to go searching days and days, but I think the only thing that ever was passed was the red flag bill. I think was the only one. There was only like one or two very, uh, you know, things passed. But nobody ever mentioned it, covered it, or spoke of it again, which I find ridiculous, okay, number one. And all of it, again, is to get views, to get your video viewed, and to get your channel up there. So, now, the other thing, and I did it, you know, I spoke out about it was the 80 percent uh, deal that come up this came up right after the election uh, they had the thing where the ATF went to an individual that bought the build and shoot kits which basically is the unfinished receiver and all the parts needed to assemble a handgun and supposedly and this was I believe in the New York Times or some major publication. So it's kind of like if they publish it in this periodical or news uh, place, then it's, you know, it's beyond question. So the article stated that a guy purchased five of these kits, more or less, to build like five handguns. And the ATF went to his house somewhere in Arizona, I believe it was, and confiscated the kits. Now, when I heard this, I think it's somewhat of an FBI plant. And I'll explain how this all works later on as, as I discuss the main part of what I'm trying, the message I'm trying to get out here. So that caused a panic. 
that, that caused a great panic. It was on the news. They had the president saying, I'm going to initiate something. Uh, I'm going to stop all this 80 percent of ghost guns, and all these guns we can't trace. We're going to put an end to all of this right here and now. And I had videos yanked and all this other stuff. And they threatened to shut my channel down. Actually, I was suspended for, I think, a week or two weeks uh, over finishing an 80% AR-15 lower. Okay? I was given a strike for talking about health issues and kind of saying it's all bullshit. But over that 80% without warning, and that video was up for over a year and a half, I got a suspension on that. Okay? So, new gun laws. There has been a lot of these wild things proposed. A lot of things out there. I, I, I don't even look. Um, but like I said in my last video, the government it is dysfunctional. The government's in free fall. It's out of control. I don't really know if anybody knows what's going on. And if you go to Log Cabin Loon's channel and watch some of his commentaries on this, not so much gun control, but some of the other bizarre proposed things like uh, not being allowed to cross state borders without checkpoints and all this other stuff, um, it kind of falls into the same category with a lot of these proposed gun laws. And the first one was 80% receivers. Okay. Well, we're going to put a stop to this, blah, 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 this and that. And like the little stocks for the short barrel guns are the pistol braces. They got a pistol brace that basically all it is is a short uh, stock. But to be considered a brace and the way they word the law, you basically can legally build a short barrel rifle with this one type of brace. Okay, so the ATF made it legal, and the ATF made it illegal, then it went back and forth and this and that. So all of these laws and stuff are, are actually BS to begin with. And they don't even know what the hell they, they, they're doing. So what was proposed? Um, they wanted to outlaw 80%, which I don't think ever happened. I mean, they were going after it. I got suspended. Um... I kind of just got rid of all the videos, and I still get emails from people asking me to give them specific dimensions to finish receivers, and I, and I won't do it. Because I believe the way the, the law is written, or the way the ATF looks at it, if I complete the kit, that is for someone that's illegal. And if I start giving people exact precise dimensions and tell them how to finish the kit even though I'm not doing the work see it's it's all in this legal mumbo jumbo but I am giving them the information they don't have in order to help them finish the kit see and this is where they, they might harass you in that so, so that's why I don't don't send me emails and I still get them I still get them. What's the drill depth? What's this? What's the sun? Yeah, no, don't. Figure it out for yourself. That's the law. Um, so what's been proposed? There was one thing where they're going to register every handgun, okay? They're going to have a national thing where you must come in and register every handgun that you have in a national registry base, which doesn't exist, okay? Also, you know, they've said about uh, confiscating guns that will be banned or whatever, or like in New York it was uh, if anyone that owned a particular style of gun had to go and turn it in or register it with New York. And I really, New York State, uh, I really don't believe a lot of people did that. See, because they don't have a way of knowing where everything is. They don't. They have no idea what's out there. And in the past few years, this is... So what I'm trying to say is, before you panic, before you get all upset and that, take a step back and use some common sense, okay? Because even if by some odd chance that such 
uh, uh, a restriction like I said with Log Cabin Loon saying that every state's going to have border checkpoints and you got to go through like going from one country to the other. Okay. Some of the things they're proposing, like with the 80%, okay, uh, to outlaw, it's like Liberty Dow said, are they going to outlaw a block of aluminum? Okay. Um, if people wish to make firearms, okay, they can. All right, and that's that's just plain and simple. Now, if we look at the sales, remember I mentioned the Obama administration. Every year in no, eight years was a record sale. Then this last year, 2020, they sold so many million firearms in this country. And how they go about counting that is by the number of FBI background checks. And someone was telling me, 2020 set another record year with like 23 million or something. It might not be an exact number, but I'm just going to say because it was in passing. I didn't write it down. They sold 23 million guns in 2020 per se. And then something come out that by six months of this year, 2021, they've sold 20 million guns. So, for a government saying that it needs gun control to suppress violent crime and all this other stuff or gun-related violence, an awful lot of people in this country are purchasing firearms. Okay, so how can you say you're going to outlaw something when your citizens are setting a record in arming themselves, you see? So this is the... Weird conundrum. So they're in a panic. And like Log Cave and Loom said, they're, they're just throwing things out. They're, there's no thought behind what they're talking about or what they're doing. And yes, some of the stuff they're proposing is scary. Like, um, you know, registering every handgun in a national database. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Um, the outlaw on 80% and that, I... Uh, I don't think anything's come of that. I think you can still get it because a lot of these companies that were selling these are emailing me that they have sales and stuffs back in stock again. So you can still buy 80% kits, I believe. I, I haven't looked today or this past month with everything going on, but I, I've never seen where they were outlawed. Okay. I'm pretty sure somebody would have said something, or somehow I would have seen it, uh, where they outlawed it, but they haven't. They said they were, they haven't. So a lot of the stuff they're proposing now, a lot of things going on. Uh, the reason you shouldn't panic or get upset, because even if they pass one of these insane laws, there is no way for them to enforce it. Okay? I don't know how many handguns are in the United States of America, and I don't know how they're going to go around and register all of them, not counting other guns that are not handguns they wish to ban, okay? There is no way that they can do it, okay? Much like the vaccinations, they want everybody to do it, but people are not, and I got a problem with it, and I, you know, have my own personal conflict with it. But see, even the pressure they're putting on you, what, what they're trying to do is they get you to panic, okay, or get you so angry that you don't think clearly, okay, and they try to, they try to pull a fast one on you. It's like, you know, the next time I go there for a health checkup, I'm just going to say, I want a written legal document signed by you saying that, you know, all these things are true and that you are not going to treat me. See, and when you start talking to people in that tone of voice or with that, just, just give me a written document with your signature on there telling me all of this so I, I have this uh, in case this becomes a more serious problem. They, 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 won't, they won't do it. I know that. Um, 
So, yes, you should stay vigilant. I'm telling you not, not to just disregard what they're doing. You should s stay vigilant on what your locales or your s state is trying to do uh, in terms of gun control laws. That you should do. But uh, I wouldn't worry about a massive ban or federal ban or anything. And there are so many guns out there now. There is no way for them to enforce gun control. And even if they say, you know what, we're going to confiscate them all. How are they going to do that? You know. I mean, there might be attempts somewhere, small places or something, but there is no way they're going to disarm this whole country. Nobody is ever going to do that. No matter what means or how they try, it, it, it's, it's impossible. It, it's with, you know, I don't know how many million guns out there, um, how they'd ever be able to do it. So this ranting, raving, misinformation, craziness, uh, you know, all I can say is like with the rest of all the problems connected to this, you just stay calm. Okay, I've seen more and more ads, email ads coming in about ammunition in stock. Now they're having free shipping. So the ammunition shortage thing is starting to get caught up. Okay, and you'll see over time, you know, as people aren't going crazy and buying billions and billions of rounds of ammo, that it's, it's going to, just like the last crisis, it's going to turn its way over and prices will drop. Okay. It's just you can't panic. And there's people out there trying to drive more panic in, into everyone. Right? So that's my thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, things, things are real crappy, and they have been last year or this year. Uh, the only thing I can say is, and a lot of people sent me comments and emails telling me, you know, don't, don't fly off the handle, don't get very angry. Uh, or, or do anything rash, because because right now they're looking for you to draw attention, you know, uh, to yourself, and you don't want to do that, okay? Because then you'll be singled out. All right, so it's best just stay vigilant and stay calm.